Today is the day that I am going to finish my halibut sweater. I am so excited. <laughs> this is going to be my first truly successful sweater since I started knitting. I have made one sweater attempt that turned into a vest, a second vest, another two more sweaters actually, and a cardigan. <laughs> so two vests, two sweaters, and a cardigan, all of which are very much learning, learning sweaters, learning knitting. And I don't ever wear them. I don't like the way they fit. I don't like the way they look. <laughs> uh, and so this is going to be, this is a really big deal because it will be the first sweater that I am going to wear the heck out of, that I'm going to love wearing, that will fit me just how I want it to fit. And one that I'll be really proud of and very much, yes, I did make this. So the sleeve, I'm at the ribbing now. I'm just ribbing of the cuff. So I'll just show you where we're at. You can see how close we are to finishing it up. So I managed to use a circular needle for the first part of each sleeve. I found a cable in my interchangeable chow gu set that was short enough. And someone wanted to come and visit. <laughs> Just see what's going on, what you up to. And then once the I had decreased enough that the, the cable felt too long, I transitioned to my double pointed needles. And so far, so good. Taking a little break from my knitting to rest my hands and tackle some of the dishes that have piled up since last weekend. <laughs> last weekend was kind of a crazy weekend. We our water heater broke, our washing machine broke, and sewage backed up into our tub and toilet. So we spent the weekend repairing as much as we could, and we're still without a washing machine, but that's just gonna have to wait. So, <laughs> so we just, you know, spent a lot of time doing that, and we're really tired and kind of like didn't feel like doing all the other chores that needed to be done, and then over the week, of course, the dishes just kept piling higher and higher, and so now I am finally getting to them.
Okay, are you ready to see it? Do, 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 ta da! <laughs> Here it is. Yeah, I like it. It's one of those things that now it's done. This was such a big project that now I'm left with that feeling, that l a little bit of a void, you know? Just, it's been a lot of buildup. It's been a lot of energy. It's been a lot of work. It's been a long time coming and now it's done. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> now what? I really like it though. It's it's really it's glorious and it everything settled down so nicely. The sleeves grew a little bit, the body grew a little bit. I don't like that it's wider here than it is here. I wish this was more tapered in. The the patterns called for a stretchy bind off and I kind of wish that I had done a non-stretchy bind off to be honest. So anyways, but I still really like it. And if I tuck it in like that, if I think this is called the French tuck, then I don't mind what it does. And I think it works. So all in all, really, really happy with how the sweater turned out. And I'm so excited that I get to wear it now. I am also wearing my, my newest socks and I just am excited about the height of them with my boots. So that all worked out too. Oh, and I blocked the socks by the way, and the foot now fits really well. Uh, Cause before I was in the line, my last video, I was just talking about how I was worried about the foot fitting a little bit too small. Anyways, I'm gonna go. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> Bye. Oh, but wait, <laughs> how does it look? with my other Caitlin Hunter design, pattern, shawl, whatever. I love the colors together. Of course, it hides most of the halibut in the front, but the colors look so good. <laughs> All right, I love Caitlin Hunter's designs. I can't wait to work on another something of hers. I feel so set. These two things and some of my socks are my best knits thus far. And that's just so exciting. Ah. <sighs>